Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. Okay. So this example means we have to find a value of this integration and with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem. So whatever the integration we have, let us call it as I. We have I is equal to integration over C dz upon 4z square plus 1. So we give the most importance to that curve C. So let us draw that curve C first and then we will solve the problem. So here C is, we have mentioned C is, this is a circle, huh? C is a circle, circle mod z is equal to 1. So to draw this circle, we need to know center and radius of that circle. So let us compare this equation with the standard equation of circle, which is mod z minus z0 is r. Z0 is a center of circle, r is radius of the circle. So let us compare this equation with that equation. Here we have just mod z only. There is no any z0. That means z0 is 0. Actually, mod z minus 0 is equal to 1. We have z minus 0 means z. So that's why they have written z only. But actually, this, if you compare, so z0 is 0. So let me mention the center is 0. 0 means 0, 0. And radius radius is 1. If you compare right hand side, you can easily see the radius is 1. Okay. So we have a circle with center 0, 0 radius 1. We have a unit circle. Okay. So let us draw that circle first. Let me remove this part. Okay. This is uh, imaginary axis. This is real axis. Okay. Let us draw. So we have here, uh, let us take one somewhere here. 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, like that. So, we have a circle like this, center 0, 0, this 0, 0 and radius 1. So, we have this circle, okay. So, the second important thing is function. So, let us draw that function. We have f of z. 4z square plus 1. Okay, so this is the function I have written here. So in denominator, we have a polynomial of degree 2. Getting it is always better to write as a product of factors. So here also I will try to express the denominator as a product of factors. See for that, what will I do? I will write this is equal to 1 upon uh, 4z square minus 1 minus 1. See minus minus plus 1 again. Okay. So this is equal to, so we know that 4 is a square of 2. So 2z whole square and minus 1 is a square of i. So 2z square minus i square. Same thing I have written in this way. The reason is that now we can apply this formula a square minus b square. So that is a plus b and a minus b. Okay, so using this formula, what can we write here? Uh, see, let us write here. So, 1 upon 2z plus i and 2z minus i. Okay. So, I have written this denominator in this way. Okay. Uh, see, we have expressed the given function in this way. But see, uh, what is our target? Our target is to find a value of this integration with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem. So, let us recall the statement of Cauchy's residue theorem and then we can decide how to solve this problem. That Cauchy's residue theorem says, okay, just a minute. Huh? Okay, so integration over C f of z dz is equal to 2 pi i sum of residues. This is Cauchy's residue theorem. So according to this theorem, we have to find the singular points of this function first. Singular points, that means a function point where the function is not analytic or simple language you can say in most of the cases we get a denominator 0 so those points are singular points then we check those points are lying inside the circle or outside the circle if they are lying inside we have to find residue and if it is lying outside no need to find residue so for points lying inside we find a residue we take the sum of all these residues and we take product weight 2 pi i and then we get the value of integration that means 
we do not solve the actual integration we find the residues and with the help of that we find the value of integration so the same method i will follow so here also we will find the points where the function is not analytic that means a point where the denominator is zero f is not analytic if the denominator is zero 2z plus i 2z minus i zero product is zero that means one of them is zero that means 2z plus i is equal to zero or 2z minus i is equal to zero so 2z by shifting i on that side minus i 2z by shifting minus i on that side plus i so therefore z is equal to minus i by 2 or z is equal to i by 2 so these are two singular points we have got so minus i by 2 where is it minus i by 2 so it is here so this is minus i by 2 and i by 2 so here we have a i no so i by 2 will be here i by 2 so we have got two singular points i by 2 and minus i by 2 but see both of them are lying inside c that means we have to find residue at both points okay so uh, make a screenshot of it first then i will go further so let us clearly mention therefore z is equal to i by 2 and z is equal to minus i by 2 are singular points singular points of f of z and both lie inside c both lie inside c that means we have to find residue at both points okay see now the next question is how to find residue the definition of residue involves Lorentz series expansion so it's very lengthy task to find residue with the help of definition but see if we have a simple poles or any kind of poles we have a very simple formula to calculate residue fortunately these two brackets have power one so these are simple poles so definitely we can use those simple formula to calculate residue so here both z is equal to plus minus i by 2 are simple poles so both are simple poles so we can apply those formula okay so let us write residue first at z is equal to i by 2 so residue of f of z at z is equal to i by 2 okay i will use that formula formula says limit z tends to i by 2 z minus i by 2 f of z so this is the formula okay so this is equal to limit z tends to i by 2 what will i do i will cross multiply it is always better to solve okay so let us cross multiply we will have 2z minus i by 2 f of z f of z this is our f of z but we have expressed in this way so let us put this value here 1 upon 2z plus i 2z minus i will you guess the next step it's obvious no in next step we can cancel this z minus 2z minus i 2z minus i okay so now we have to apply the limit apply the limit that means at a place of z we have to put i by 2 everywhere in the remaining part of a function so 1 by 2 will be as it is here into 1 upon 2 at a place of z i am putting i by 2 so i by 2 plus i okay in this bracket if i put z is equal to i by 2 i am getting this one 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 2 2 will get cancelled and you will have i plus i you know i plus i 2i into this 2 that means 1 upon 4i so this is the first residue we got similarly we have to find residue at z is equal to minus i by 2 also so just make a screenshot of it first then i will go further so let let us find residue at z is equal to minus i by 2 now okay so residue of f of z at z is equal to minus i by 2 see it is also a simple fold so that means we have to apply the same formula just at a place of i by 2 i should write minus i by 2 everywhere so this is equal to limit z tends to minus i by 2 see here we have minus minus plus so z 
माइनस एक्चुअली बट इट हैज ऑल्सो माइनस साइन ना सो माइनस माइनस प्लस आई बाई टू एफ ऑफ जेड लिमिट जेड टेन्स टू माइनस आई बाई टू आई विल क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई लाइक दिस ओके सो टू जेड प्लस आई अपॉन टू सेम एफ ऑफ जेड आई शुड पुट डेयर सो वन अपॉन टू जेड प्लस आई टू जेड माइनस आई ओके सेम so will you guess the next step our favorite task cancel out this 2z plus i 2z plus i okay in the remaining part of a function we should apply the limit that means at a place of z we should put minus i by 2 everywhere okay so let us apply the limit so in first bracket we have just 1 by 2 in second bracket we have this second term we have this bracket okay so z is equal to minus i by 2 so 2 into minus i by 2 minus i So one upon see all these are in denominator. So I am writing in denominator. Two to cancel minus i minus i. Okay. So you know minus i minus i that means minus two i and into this two that means minus one upon four i. So this is the second raised to d. So we had got two uh, singular points. Both were lying inside C. So that's why we calculated raised to d at both points. First is one upon four i. Second is minus one upon four i. So it's time to use Cauchy's residue theorem. Let us use by Cauchy's residue theorem. That theorem says integration over C. Whatever the integral we have, four z square, huh? Four z square plus two is two pi i sum of residues. So two pi i. This time we have two residues. First is one upon four i. Second is minus one upon four i. Right? We are actually adding, but it has a minus sign, no? So we are writing minus there. So both terms having opposite signs, same value, magnitude. So they will get cancelled to each other. This is zero, and zero into anything zero. So the value of integration is zero. So this is the required answer. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you in. next video